Welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. My name is Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. And Costco employees aren't going to thank you for leaving frozen foods in the clothing section. <laughs> oh, what's, hey, this is a ham next to my shoes. <laughs> or talking on the phone during checkout. Oh, that's so annoying. Costco employees deal with scores of members all day. As is with any job, some interactions are going to be positive while others not so much. Yeah. All right, so let's go over some of the things that make Costco employees cringe. First off, Allowing kids to stand in carts or run around. Yeah. Quit letting your kids jump around in the basket. Uh, it's dangerous, folks. If you didn't already know it, it's very dangerous. Uh, three other Costco employees added that they'd get nervous when parents allowed their kids to stand or sit in the carts. Another Costco employee from Illinois also said that too many people let their children run wild in the store. And that all, you know, that comes down to an issue. Have you ever seen parents that have their kids on a leash? <laughs> have you ever seen that? I don't, I, I'm, I don't see the downside. <laughs> well, try doing that at Costco, and you're gonna, you're gonna have the worst visit to Costco you ever had because people will not let you hear the end of it. Now you're saying, Lou, it sounds like you've done that. No, I haven't. But uh, I've, I've got a grandson. We're considering that for. <laughs> Well, you know, if somebody gives you a hard time, just tell them, oh, it's okay. He's a service kid. Brilliant! Yes. get him a, Maybe get him a little vest. Get him a service dog vest, but put service kid on it. <laughs> so, no, he's allowed to be here. <laughs> he's he's a service kid. He's my, my therapeutic kid. Do you mind if I pet him? <laughs> All, All right. right. So today is a list of things Costco members do. That make employees cringe. All right. Next up is being unhygienic. And I see this too. And it does. It makes me cringe just a bit. Uh, Business Insider spoke with Costco employees who said they cringed when customers exhibited unhygienic behaviors like putting their membership or credit card in their mouth Ugh. or not washing their hands in the restroom. I can't get over that either. Yeah. Uh, they hated when a member would pull their credit card out of their bra or their mouth. Oh, that, you know, I used to work at an auto parts store <sighs> on Northgate Boulevard. And in the summertime, women would come in and buy stuff. And they would hand me cash from between their breastuses. And it's wet. It's sweaty. Yeah, yeah. That I, is so disgusting. Yeah. Uh, the, the other employee says, I hate it when they have their membership cards in their mouth. And then they hand it to me. Yeah. Oh, God. No germs on that. You just set it down right there. Yeah. I'll get it with the tweezers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, an employee in Chicago said they judged people who left the store's restroom without washing their hands. That is disgusting. Yeah, I would judge too. And then two employees in uh, Illinois and Ontario specifically called out people who cough and sneeze all over the warehouse without trying to cover their mouth. Oh, man. I, you know what I noticed? People are awful. The other day I sneezed in the car by myself, <laughs> and I covered my mouth. <laughs> For who? <laughs> and you said, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, today things Costco members do that make Costco employees cringe. Next up is behaving badly at checkout. Uh, Costco employees told Business Insider that they judged people who hold up the checkout or membership sign-up line. Three employees specifically said that talking on the phone in line slows everything down. Yeah. One Ohio-based employee described people who hold extended phone conversations while checking in with the membership desk as so rude. He's so rude. <laughs> I've gotten to the point where I will tell people I will wait until they are finished because I can tell they are very busy. Then I just take the next member in line. Oh, I wish nice. I could do that. Oh, that uh, However, great. I will tell you that I do work in the retail field, and I can tell you if somebody comes into my store and they're on the phone, I don't even ask them if they need help. And, you know, sometimes they do this. I'm going to need a, uh, some wire, welding wire. I'll, and I say to him, I'll wait till you're done. You're busy. Right. Yeah. I'll get you. Yeah. As soon as you're done. Right. I know you're... Why are you even bringing that in that conversation into a store? <laughs> yeah. What on God's green earth makes you think that's okay? Who do you think you are? Warren Buffett? 
You're that busy? Or Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Wasted away again? Or All You Can Eat Buffett. Yeah. He's my favorite. <laughs> I love this third album. <laughs> All You Can. Uh, next up is this the same tired old joke. So the cashier is scanning your purchases. Right, right. And then all of a sudden, huh, huh. I think it's scanned. And so, <laughs> yeah, I think it did, all right. But what does the person say? Oh, that didn't scan. Must be free. Uh, sorry. It's Ron, not. I'm about to have a meltdown over that one. <laughs> I get it every day. And you know what? Sometimes I just want to say, you know, the 500th time I heard that, it was funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the first time I fell off my dinosaur when I heard that. Oh, my gosh. The yeah. same old joke, making it all the time today on Men Are So Smart. Things Costco members do that make Costco employees cringe. Next up is leaving trash around the store. Um, Costco employees said that they judged shoppers who leave behind a trail of garbage as they move through the store. Uh, one said they didn't appreciate it when people leave trash in their carts, while an employee in Ohio said leave their sample cups everywhere right. and spill their food and don't clean it up. He says, I work in the produce area, and I can't tell you how gross and frustrating it is to find cups of soup spilled all over the product. God. Come on, people. You know, where I work... We give away uh, free candy, and we have it in a bowl. Uh -huh. uh, Tootsie Rolls, Tootsie Pops, uh, Dots. I'm there. Something, Fruit Rolls, whatever there. And, you know, here here's the candy jar, and here's a garbage can. Okay? They open up the candy. I think they look at the garbage can and then put the wrapper on the counter. Like, perfect. I'm supposed to personally clean up their mess. That no, makes perfect sense. I'm glad you enjoyed your Tootsie Roll, and I understand you're too lazy to put it in the garbage. <laughs> I understand. Really, I do. <laughs> All right. Kind of along those same lines mm -hmm. is leaving items in the wrong place. Oh, I know what you mean. So what happens is you go over and you're looking for string cheese and you, oh, well, here it is. And you pick this one up mm -hmm. and then you get to the end cap. And then? They have some on sale. Oh, the ones on sale. Yes. Yeah. And so what do you do? You put the string cheese you picked up right over there. Right. You just set it here with the stuff that's on sale and you yeah. take the one that's on sale. And you know what happens as a trickle-down effect of that? That one that is out of place now that you've put there, somebody sees it on the rack oh, where yeah. it says a certain sale price, right. and they expect to get that one, which is not the product on sale, right. but it was in that area. They want it for sale yep. for the special. Well, and then, I mean, it goes along with everything, though, because you'll see underwear where the shoes are. There's a pile of shoes and there is a package of underwear right on top of it. I was looking to buy some slippers the other day. Uh -huh. Ended up buying the ham that was right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do pork products. I, last time I touched pork, I went into hamaphylactic shock. Hamaphylactic, you say? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what All it is. All right. Um, next up uh, in our list of things Costco members do that make Costco employees cringe, making ridiculous returns. There was a story about this not too long ago. Christmas time. Yes. What was that story? They brought back a tree? They brought back their live... A live tree. Yeah, it wasn't live when they brought it back, though. They bought it as a live tree. Right. After Christmas, they pulled the ornaments off and took it back to Costco. I, you know, if that happened to me, I'd be standing at the counter, and my first reaction would be, am I on some kind of video show? <laughs> yeah. Am I being punked? Are Where's you entirely kidding me where's ashton kutcher yeah because i feel like i'm on punk right now I, I, are you seriously as i had a i had a person the other day oh i really shouldn't go into it over 20 a 25 cent washer oh lord really yeah so making ridiculous returns you know what think about it okay is it the right thing to do is it really the right thing to do i don't think so yep so this next one Kind of goes back to a story we did earlier about the 30-year-old son. Mm -hmm. And it's this one is, this is the one that makes employees uh, cringe also. Relying on mom and dad to pay for everything. So you got your 30-something-year-old kid that goes to Costco with you. Mm -hmm. And he's filling the cart with stuff that he mm -hmm. needs. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes time to pay, 
he goes and he sits down in the restaurant right. area waiting for his hot dog to come. Or conveniently to the restroom. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, son. We'll get that yeah, for you. Yeah, got this. Yeah. See, that's that's bad parenting. Bad, bad parenting. Next up on our list of things Costco members do that make employees cringe, uh, leaving carts all over the place. Members leave their carts on the islands and curbs instead of walking them to a corral. I don't understand how they walk around the whole store, which is pretty big, but suddenly be too exhausted to have manners and just return the cart. It's empty, so it's easier to push now. Um, they People, they say, leave them all over the place in the parking lot. Well, that's what's annoying to me is when you get to a parking spot and you start to pull in and then there's a you cart in it. You can't because there's a cart. Yeah, so... A lot of times, my wife will get out, she'll pull the cart out of the way, I park in that parking spot, and we use that cart to shop inside. Why not? Or if there's no carts, uh, if they're in the corral, I'm kind of okay with that because they're all in one place, and the guys that pick up the carts can they're easily... They're monitored, sure. Yeah, they can easily pick them all up at once. But if they're scattered throughout the parking lot, not in the corral, we will take one of those carts in with us to shop with. That's just having manners. Yeah, I don't. And then uh, I was telling you earlier, sometimes if I go with Vicky, she takes bags with her uh -huh. and we load up our bags, right. pull them out of the cart and leave the cart, and then leave the cart back there in the lobby. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh almighty, that's as simple as holding the door for somebody else. It, it seems. God forbid they should get to the custom, the cashier before you, one person before you. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, it seems like common sense, but common sense isn't really all that common. All right, our list of things Costco members do uh, that make Costco employees cringe. This this one is this one really gets my goat. Misbehaving while getting a free sample. Misbehaving? Yes. Yeah, so let's say that, because a lot of times when you go up to the, the free sample booth, they're just cutting it up or they're putting it on a cracker or whatever it is. And they're not quite ready for you. So my wife and I, will, if we can tell that it's just minutes away, we'll stand by while they're getting it ready. Yeah. And then they put the first couple samples out there. And then somebody from nowhere reaches in and grabs one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right in front of you. And while you've been waiting. While you've been waiting. Mm -hmm. The other one that gets me is they'll grab two. And then look around as if they have maybe they do have somebody over there but you know what he's got legs he's got a hand mm -hmm. send that person up to grab their own sample yeah you don't need two samples right. for you right uh and I, I will admit this that if something i particularly like is a free sample i may walk around for five minutes and come back and then come back and grab a second with a different accent <laughs> yes i'll you know mess my hair throw my would, sunglasses on would like to have crab cake take my shirt off whatever one for you me know. one for natasha <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you stupid american shopkeeper all right next up on our list of things that uh, people do that just drive freaking costco employees crazy driving recklessly in the parking lot people <laughs> there there are pedestrians Walking in between cars. Yeah. It can't be predicted. You've got to be going like five, eight miles an hour in the parking lot. Tops. Uh, and, you know, it seems funny, but it, there's they this one that we go to in Folsom, there's a couple stop signs, and people don't. They don't stop. They don't stop. No. And there's a big pedestrian crosswalk right outside the front door right, they don't stop they don't stop no you you're taking your life into your own hand this employee says i see at least three fender benders a month uh, in our parking lot that's not surprising that doesn't surprise me at all hey i'm gonna let you take this next one because this one is very pertinent to you okay yes uh let's see oh i get it here we go one costco employee said they didn't appreciate it when members seem to think they can touch you or hug you. I don't mind the hugs, they said, but at least ask. Look, What's your rule of thumb? my rule at work is this. Number one, don't touch me. Number two, don't touch my stuff. Okay, if you live by those two rules, life goes better for everybody. You know, there's a lot less germs in the world, okay? Uh. Yeah, well, and you're not a germaphobe. By any stretch, by I've worked with germaphobes. You're yeah. not a germaphobe. No, but you are cautious. Yes. Everybody should be. My doctor the other day 
Oh, I don't do that here. I go, oh, wow, that one's on you. Dang. Yeah. Nice. Right. Uh, okay, next up, and I, I've seen this too. Okay. Failing to strategize when it comes to filling carts. Strategize? Yeah, so, you know, the, the first place you stop is the dairy, and you buy a flat of eggs, and you put them on the bottom there. And then you, oh. then you go get dog food and put oh, it on the top. Oh, the 50-pound bag on top yeah. of the eggs. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You need to strategize that a little bit better. Think about <laughs> what you're going to do when you get to checkout. Yeah, oh, and yeah. And that would help you strategize. And for me personally, I like to my checkout to go as quick as possible. So if we have big things, we always buy dog food. Mm -hmm. uh, if we have big things, I put them on the bottom of the cart, and I put the UPC label up. Facing up. So they can scan it. So anything that's on the bottom or that he is heavy that we're going to leave in the cart, the label is facing up where they can go bing, 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 bing. That's brilliant, and Ronnie. done. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that concludes our list of things that drive Costco employees crazy. And other members, by the way. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, just try to remember that it's all common sense and manners. Okay, hold the door for somebody. Yeah. You know, if somebody's got less items than you, let them go ahead in line. It's not going to, it's the same thing with driving. You know, you could pass a guy on the road because he's only going 65 and you fly by him at 80, but he's right behind you at the stop sign ahead. Right. So, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Is it worth the 20 feet? Nah, it's not. No. Can't we all just get along, Ronnie? I would, I would hope. You know... I'm talking to you, our Men Are So Smart viewers. You know, if we just start here with one small act of kindness, it would perpetuate itself. And one small act leads to another, and to another, and to another. And eventually, I'm king of the world. <laughs> that's not where I was going with that, but that's where <laughs> we're going to end. If you'd like to email the king of the world, you can at lou at menaresosmart.com. Ronnie can be found at, oh, his is a little more complicated. Ronnie, Ronnie. at menaresosmart.com. Well, I'm not quite the king. I'm like prince in waiting. King of Costco. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show today and learned something, give it a thumbs up. If you took something from the program, and we hope that you did, subscribe to our channel. We have been doing very well lately. Thanks to you. We appreciate those of you who are... Uh, became viewers of ours from watching the Fen Treasure episodes that we do. We have another one coming up very soon. Don't worry. 22 new subscribers last week. In one week. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Tell some friends if you would. We'd appreciate it. And as long as you do that, we'll keep coming in and doing this. Because yeah. apparently, you're enjoying it. Yeah. And you know what this means? Every Saturday, two guys who are best friends get to hang out for a while. Could be worse. That's all this show is about. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. See you on the next Men Are So Smart. Thank <laughs> you.